So a big part of the NFC Ring project is that we want to encourage hackers to hack their own NFC rings together. Um, and to do that, we've partnered with a bunch of people, but mostly we've done a lot of it in-house as well, actually. Um, but what we're using is, is a piece of software called Tinkercad, which is a web-based tool. Um, and you can just send, so you can create a Tinkercad, you can create your own ring and then just ship that straight off to uh, to uh, uh, Shapeways or, or or Sculptio. And now there's some there's some really big advantages with 3D printing. Obviously you can 3D print your own NFC ring at home. We have to ship you the inlay and obviously you have to insert the inlay and do a few little bits yourself. But what you can do is you can create an, an, an NFC ring, which is exactly the uh, shape and size of your finger, right? So if you've got a slightly, I don't know, for some reason slightly squished finger, squished, flattened, um, then what you can do is you can create an NFC ring that fits that. Um, so what we're doing is we're providing the uh, the STL files, but we're also providing the the, uh, the Tinkercad kind of reference objects so that you can uh, essentially fork, modify, contribute back. So we, we're going to try and build a community around people designing their own uh, NFC rings. Now, what we're not trying to do is take away from the communities that currently exist. Um, I mentioned Shapeways and Sculptio. Um, there are various other um, 3D printing communities. If you want to create an NFC ring and upload it to their community, we'd absolutely support that. What we'll try and do is bring everything all back in together so that we end up with like a, a catalog of a, a community created NFC rings. So I'll just kind of show you it now. You'll have to just bear with me a little bit because my internet's running a little slow as I'm uploading the video. Okay, so I've just told it to, uh, to edit this NFC ring. Maybe I should come back. Ah, there we go. Okay. So if you're not familiar with uh, Tinkercad, it's a, it's a really great tool for, for creating really simple shapes, but also quite advanced shapes. You can see here we've got the outside of, of the uh, NFC ring. And I, I'll just, I'll show you how easy it is to actually make one. Uh, can I make one from scratch? Yeah, I think I can probably figure that out. See, I've not done this for a little while. So what we do first, create a torus, stretch it out. So the ring width is about seven mil when you've got the one mil. Um, and what you will need to do, obviously, dependent on the quality of your 3D printer, you'll need to uh, um, adjust the width and the thicknesses of the of the uh, the shape accordingly. So if your printer prints 0.1 mil and you you are very lucky and you are blessed, um, that's great. So you can print a really fine thin. NFC ring. However, if you're printing on a uh, on a printer that can only support a minimum of, of say one mil, um, you will need to create a slightly thicker ring. So let's say, for example, we're doing one mil. We need one mil edges. Uh, I've brought this up to eight mil. The inlay is going to be six mil, so we know that we need this extra bit. And then what we can do is we say, right, that's our torus, and we bring a tube in. What we just need to do is just snap that. 0.5, move that into place using my keyboard, scout around, make sure I'm about the right size, location, looks good. Bring that up by one mil, so snap back one mil, bring it up one mil, got a lip there now, bring that up to six mil, which will be our insert, and does that look about right? It looks about right. And then what we say is, what I actually need to do is just make that a bit bigger or else we won't have any inside. So I'm just going to bring this out again. Maybe 22. Okay, looks good. And then what we say is hole. And then we select these two objects. Drag in a box around them. Click group. So yeah. And what that'll do is it'll take a cutout section of this main object. And we're left with a main torus object with the uh, cutout ready for an inlay to go into. Now you can see how easy it was for me to make that there. That's a really simple example of of generating an, an, an STL file. Um, to send that off to Shapeways, ready for printing, we just do this. We select these, get rid of them. We go design, upload, order a 3D print. We send that off to Sculptio, or I materialize up on Oco. We have no affiliate, uh, we have no relationship with any of these uh, providers of 3D printing, it's up to you how you 3D print, should you choose the 3D printing route. 
Um, so we send that off to Sculpture and then they'll give us a quote uh, for printing that off and then they'll ship us it. So, you know, we can end up then doing fancy shapes with this if we want to wear for some crazy reason, putting a, maybe you're doing promotion for Red Nose Day, uh, which for our American viewers is an event for charity in the UK. Um, so maybe you're bringing that in and you want to put a, a little red nose on it. Let's make that five mil by. Oops. Make that five mil by five. I don't know what I'm doing. Five mil. Now yeah, we've got a little, little nose type shape. And what we're going to do is bring that up onto the object. And there you go. We've got a, a little silly little ring but it just does show you you can create whatever shapes and designs you want and then you just put the NFC uh, inlay in and you've got a completely custom slightly crazy um, NFC ring of your own so there you go that's how we're going to be working with the uh, with the community in creating STL models that you can just print out of your, uh, at, your at home or using a third party service cheers